What is up amigos, it's Curse again with yet another hour video on how to get and use all the shaman's crazy abilities. The shaman gives you the power to harness thunder and to reanimate dead souls to fight for you. Once again, I'm going to be showing clips of my gameplay using these abilities as well as the detailed guide on what you need, how to get there, and how to use your abilities. Now I do stream on Twitch if you guys want to stop by or have any immediate questions, the link will be in the description below. Like always, if you have any preference on what video I should do next, let me know in the comments below and I'll look forward to making another video. Crazy enough, the only real requirements you need to visit the shaman is mana. Now if you want to get all the skills though, that's going to cost you a whopping 1950 coins. Yeah, it's going to be a small grind, but it's totally worth it. Now, the coins will be separated into 7 skills. 50 coins on reveal soul, 50 coins on call to the elements, 50 coins on mana push, 100 coins on weather tolerance, 500 coins on shamanic resonance, 600 coins on wind sigil, and 600 coins on conjure. Of course, this is if you're going the mage route. If not, pick infused wind instead of wind sigil. Alright, so now on how to get there. So first, you start at Sierzo, which is the game's starting city. The shaman is located right here on this red circle. Now, the only way to get to the shaman is if you go through the ghost pass. This place looks incredibly intimidating, but really, there's only two monsters you really need to worry about. Now, I was completely over prepared, so my buddy and I wiped the whole thing in under 15 minutes. I recommend you take your time in this because you get some really good loot that you can sell to the merchant next to the shaman. Now, I'm going to leave a link in the description below to a video of my Twitch stream showing how I went through the ghost pass if you guys want a full run. So once you leave the ghost pass, just follow the road down the bridge then take a right. You'll see a tower that looks exactly like this. This is where the shaman will be. Once you've purchased all your skills, there's still something you need to do in order to activate your wind sigil. In order for you to use your wind sigil, you need to activate the wind totem found in your map. There is one wind totem per map and you can only use your wind sigil in the maps where your totem is activated. This wind totem is simple since it's located right outside the shaman's house. All wind totems will look like this. Now time for the fun part, the spells. The first ability is wind sigil. What this spell does is that it creates a zone where simple spells turn to storm based spells. The second ability is Mana Push. Alone, this spell is useless, but with the Wind Sigil, it turns into a purple projectile that will lower the enemy's block bar. The third ability is Spark. With the Wind Sigil, this turns into an AoE lightning attack that does massive damage. The fourth ability is Call to the Elements. This skill applies a boon depending on the weather conditions in your area. The fifth ability is Reveal Soul. This spell reveals the soul of a fallen humanoid around you. The sixth ability is Conjure. This spell consumes the soul and now summons a magical warrior to fight alongside you. Another cool thing is that Spark can also be used on a soul to heal the missing mana. Now, one last thing I found useful is that you can combine all three sigils to combine their unique attacks. This can be amazing if I do say so myself. Well, looks like that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure to check out my other videos on rune magic and the chakram. I also made another video on archery, if that's something you're looking into. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Outward, as well as hit that like button if you found this video helpful. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.